we all hope that to our best that the ISRO engineers would have taken the maximum effort and I am sure they would have taken the maximum effort to how to preserve heat inside the Chandrayaan lander and though the outside temperature may be of the, in the lunar night may be of the order of minus 130 degrees centigrade but if they could have maintained the temperature at least minus 30 degrees centigrade probably the, all the electronics will survive and today once the sun has already risen but it has to reach to elevation angle of 6 to 9 degree to get enough strength so that the solar panel gets energized and the batteries are charged and the thermal balance is maintained it will even then it's if everything goes well it will still take a few more hours and once that is there then probably ISRO will attempt to communicate with it. I am sure if ISRO is successful, they will be communicating to the general public at large. And I am hoping against hope that it will rise. And if it rises, it will be a miracle. Those scientists don't believe in miracle, but yet, you know, it's a, we make all the engineering efforts. But uh, sometimes we fail and most of the time we succeed. I hope with this time also ISRO people would have succeeded. And then it would have been, if it revives, it was not an original plan of ISRO, but if it revives, ISRO will be going beyond their commitments. And it will be a great thing and great day for scientists because we can have a more and more measurements today. But to keep the fingers crossed, let us wait for ISRO's tweet and information whether they have succeeded to in waking it up.